thank you. Next up here tonight, Truth Be Told, our ongoing political series, fact-checking the television ads, bombarding your TV screen 46 days out from the presidential election. And tonight, the debate over a topic that really impacts all of us, the environment. Adam Walser here, drilling down to the truth behind the attacks. This is our chance to put the darkness of the past four years behind us. This ad from Joe Biden's campaign is called Fresh Start. We can stop focusing on a president who thinks it's all about him and start focusing on what's best for us. The primary focus of Biden's campaign is the environment. The damage from climate change is already here. And he's hoping to win over voters like Sarah Edwards. I mean, just need to look at the news and, you know, California is on fire and the Amazon is burning. Edwards, who lives in Tampa, enjoys cycling and kayaking, volunteers at her children's school on Earth Day, and belongs to conservation groups, including Food and Water Action, Sierra Club, and World Wildlife Fund. When I'm thinking about voting, um, I'm not necessarily thinking um, about, um, you know, red or blue. I'm looking for who's ready to stand up and be a leader and take bold action. Joe Biden will get it done. Joe Biden promises in his ad that his administration will fix things. We need to take on climate change. But truth be told, Biden is not the only candidate claiming to protect the environment. Last year, toxic algae killed fish and threatened Florida's water quality. We're working with both the White House and uh, as difficult as it is sometimes working with the Army Corps. President Trump approved $200 million for Everglades restoration after originally cutting the Army Corps' budget. In August, he pledged to improve national parks. President Trump signing the Great American Outdoors Act today. That funding will improve sewage systems in Colorado, upgrade campgrounds in Montana, and repair water pipelines in Arizona. And in September, Trump made news again in his new home state of Florida. You know, saw, saw this headline in the, the Tampa Bay Times. Uh, yeah. Trump extended a moratorium on offshore drilling in Florida until 2022 and expanded the ban to include Georgia and South Carolina, a measure Sarah Edwards applauds. It's a dangerous, dirty practice. There's so many methane leaks. That ban leading the president to make this claim. Number one since Teddy Roosevelt. Who would have thought Trump is the great environmentalist? Do you hear that, Ed? Do you hear that? That's good. And I am. I am. I believe strongly in it. But during his first term, environmental groups say President Trump took more steps backwards, eliminating regulations aimed at protecting the environment, relaxing fuel economy standards on vehicles, pulling out of the Paris Climate Agreement, and fast-tracking the Keystone XL pipeline project, continuing America's reliance on fossil fuels. Biden says that contributes to global warming, which fuels stronger hurricanes and sparks more intense wildfires. If you give a climate arsonist four more years in the White House, why would anyone be surprised if we have more America blaze? Is there a climate change issue in California? Uh, you'll have to ask the governor that question. I don't want to step on his toes. Truth be told, the EPA says greenhouse gas emissions have decreased since Trump first took office, thanks in large part to the continuing transition from coal to natural gas and electricity production. Sarah Edwards says she'll vote for the candidate who pledges more clean, renewable energy. But these are issues that our kids and future generations are going to have to deal with. And I just feel like if we don't deal with them now, um, they're, they're only going to get worse. So next time you see this ad, we've had four years of a president who brings out the worst in America. Isn't it time we had a president who brought out the best? You'll know, truth be told, determining who's best and worst for the environment might depend on what you measure and who you ask. Adam Walser, ABC Action News.